Welcome to another episode of TK's Two Cents. Today, we're going to talk about the words that must be said and the price that must be paid. Let's dive right in. If you need to say everything that needs to be said, you're a great candidate for becoming the person who never gets around to saying anything at all. Here's a question I want you to ask yourself the next time you are participating in a discussion or the next time you consider involving yourself in a debate or replying to a comment or answering a question. Is it my job to be a conversation stopper or a conversation starter? A lot of people pressure themselves to be the conversation stopper. To be the conversation stopper means you drop the mic every, t every time you speak. You say the last word. You say it so well and so compellingly that there's nothing else to say after you get done talking. If you put that kind of pressure on yourself, it's going to make it extremely difficult to speak because you're not going to feel comfortable talking unless you are certain that what you have to say is so comprehensive and so exhaustive and, and so great that it's, it's capable of being the last word. And then when other people disagree or other people say, yeah, but that might really irritate you and make speaking and communicating a very frustrating experience. But there's another option here. You can be a conversation starter. Conversation starter is a person who participates in a conversation and says, hey, I'm here to make a few useful distinctions. I'm here to make a few useful points. I'm here to ask some questions, make some su suggestions, not under the pretense that I know everything or that the world needs to hear from me, but I want to help move the conversation forward in a constructive way. And if I can get someone to think a bit differently or just walk out of this conversation feeling inspired to learn more, I've already won. I've already succeeded. The job of a conversation starter is to just say something or suggest something that keeps the conversation going in a manner that is productive. When many people get ready to write or they get ready to create, they feel so afraid because someone might disagree with them. Someone might say, well, I think you're wrong. Someone might criticize it. And that's because they're putting the pressure on themselves to be conversation stoppers. But when you make the shift from being a conversation stopper to being a conversation starter, you're free and you're able to approach the process of creating and communicating in a playful manner with beginner's mind. You feel no fear that someone might correct you or challenge you or criticize you because those are just opportunities to learn new things, to engage human beings in a way that enriches you. So don't put the pressure on yourself to have the last word. When you liberate yourself from the need to have the last word, you find the courage that you need to say the first word. Let's go to tweet number two. There's always a price for not paying the price. I had a friend tell me one time about something that he really wanted to do. It was so clear that he was very passionate about it. And then he said, but I don't know if I'm going to do that. It's going to take three years to complete. And I said, yeah, but you're still going to be three years older anyway. There's no decision you're going to make that's going to protect three years from going by and you being three years older. I don't mean to make light of his challenge because it's common. I go through it. We all go through it. But the important thing to remember is that trade-offs are a part of every decision that we make in life. And sometimes when we look at the cost of things that we really want to do, we back out of those choices because, well, I don't know if I can afford the price. But the question is not, can you afford the price? But rather, what price are you going to pay? And are you okay with that? Because if you don't pay now, you're going to pay later. So for instance, if you don't like spending money on higher quality, then the price you have to pay is buying something that might need to be replaced more often. If you don't want to spend the time maybe working hard or learning new things, well, the price you might have to pay is later on giving up a lot of the freedom and autonomy you might prefer in your work, giving other people more power to kind of have a say on your creative processes and so on. If you don't want to pay the price of maybe being criticized for speaking up, then you might have to pay the price of being resentful for not getting what you need. There is always a price to pay 
and there is never a way to escape paying prices. Every choice that you make, the choice to be afraid or the choice to be courageous, the choice to speak up or the choice to remain silent, the choice to go after your dreams or the choice to play it safe, the choice to follow the crowd or the choice to go your own way. Every choice you will ever make has trade-offs and opportunity cost involved. So the question is not, will I pay the price, but what price am I willing to pay? I'll leave that answer up to you. All right, y'all. Those are TK's two cents. We are done. If you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to click the like button. Please be sure to click the subscribe button. Leave a comment letting me know anything that you enjoyed or that you'd like to hear me talk about in the future. And Share with a family member or friend if you think they might benefit from hearing these ideas. Let's get the word out, y'all. And above all, create a fantastic week. All right. Peace.